Hey everybody, welcome to another episode here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's workout is belly, buns, and thighs boot camp. So prepare to work that lower half while still engaging your core muscles. We're going to start off of course with a quick warm up here. So let's begin with the feet just slightly wider than hip width apart and we're just going to lower into a very small squat reaching the arms forward and standing up. So you really want to make sure that you're sitting back into your hips here. You're just going to reach your arms forward for a little counterbalance but make sure your chest is staying lifted and tall. So you don't want to lean forward with that upper body. There's just a little hinge from the hips that happens as we sit back into the hips. Just give me four more here. Really think about squeezing those glutes together as you stand. Last two. Nice. Now we're going to take it down and hold that squat position. So just sitting back into the hips. Hold it here. All you're going to do is begin to shift your weight from side to side. So I want you to just shift to one leg and then go to the other. You're holding that squat position. Just shift the weight and shift the weight. Good. Now as you shift the weight, see if you can take this outside leg and start to just reach it long and off the floor. So a little more balance work starting to kick in the core. Good. And if you've got this, you can add a little reach up with the arms to make the core work a little harder. So we're going to relax the chin to the chest, making sure the back of the neck is nice and long. Reach out and up. Good. Lift those arms by the ears. We're going to do eight more here. Seven. Nice. Six. You got it. Five. Stay down nice and deep in that squat. Four. Good. Last three. Two. Give me one more. Great job. Hands on the thighs. Just slowly roll up through that spine and we're ready to begin. So we're going to start with our first exercise, which moves to the side. We're going to do a lateral lunge with an upper body twist. So we're going to start taking a wide step out to the side. Just bring your hands to your thighs for now. Tap your toe and twist into that leg. So it comes down. Exhale, twist. Inhale, sit back in your hips and rotate it. Good. So this is our base move. We're going to add and progress from here, but you're welcome to stay with this base move the entire time if that's working better for you. Give me two more here. Down and rotate. Good. Last one. Down and rotate. Now we're going to see if we can make this bigger. Reach your arms all the way down. And instead of tapping the toe, see if you can bring the foot to the inside of your standing knee. So a little more balance challenge. Exhale as you twist. Good. And down. And rotate. Good. So remember, you can stay with that base movement or kick it up a notch here with us with control. Take it down. You can hear in my voice, my heart rate's climbing up here because we're working some big muscles through a big range of motion. We have eight more. Squeeze and twist. Good. Seven. We're using higher reps today because we're using just the body weight here. Six. And twist. Five. That's it. And reach. Just give me four more. Lots of control. And twist it. Nice. Last three. Exhale as you come up. Two. And one more. Really reach. Down and up. Good job. So let's shake it out. Take a second. We're going to start that to the other side, beginning with just that base move. So we step out, tap and twist to the side and rotate. Good. Now on the way in, think about using your inner thighs to draw that outside foot into that standing leg. Inhale and exhale. Make sure you're using your breath. Sit back into it. And up two more with this base move. Good. Make sure you've got the form down before you try to advance it. If you're ready for more, take your hands lower. See if you can balance and twist. Good. Down and up. Inhale and exhale. Turn through the rib cage. You got it. Down and lift and twist. Excellent. Down. And up. So as you're reaching to the floor, look at your knee. Make sure it's staying behind your big toes as you're lunging and reaching. Good. We're almost there. We have eight more on this side. Here we go. It's eight. And twist. Draw those abs in tight. Seven. And lift. Six. Good. And five. Come on. I'm right here with you. 
last four you look great give me three more reach it low exhale twist last two down and up here's our last one we're gonna hold it at the top yeah nice work okay shake it out let's move on from here so this next one is great for the back of the body, but of course we're also gonna continue to work your abs. So we're gonna stand with the feet together. I'm just turning side so you can see a little better. We're gonna go down to a nice low runner's lunge. So I want you to step back with one foot, doesn't matter which one, we'll do both sides. We're gonna come down to the floor. And then as we reach up, we're gonna tap that back toe, bring the arms by the ears. So we come down for two as low as you can, up and tap that foot. Inhale down exhale reach Whew. inhale down exhale reach now that back knee is going to go all the way down to the floor it might even tap the ground just don't slam it into the ground keep it nice and light and lift give me one more here remember this is your base move if you want to stay here you can or you can try lifting that back leg up and giving me a nice balance at the top of this movement so our abs are working to help us balance and hold really think about drawing your belly button into your spine at the top lift that back leg as high as you can keeping that slight forward hinge from your hips so the leg has room to lift up behind you good and down and lift we should be feeling both legs here big time eight more and squeeze seven yes good almost there six and lift it last five reach those arms all the way four more good you got it last three and squeeze give me two more and up last one we're gonna hold it here ready hold it at the top balance 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 and bring your feet together shake it out Ooh, feeling that standing leg big time great job guys let's take a little breather before we go to the other side so feet are wide abs are braced in tight you're just going to give me a little side to side crunch so use the waist good pulling the shoulder down to the hip here nice now similar to what we did in the warm-up i want you to start to shift your weight you're going to tap the toe tap the toe keep the knees soft shift so you're pulling down shifting your weight still keeping that side crunch again you can stay here or just take a little lift out and up with that outside leg so I want you to feel this all the way down the sides of the obliques getting into the outsides of the hips too and reach and reach that's it good use those abdominals here and pull shoulder to hip looking good last eight here we go it's eight keep those elbows wide seven six five very nice last four and three give me two more last one great work relax your arms now we've got to go to the other side with that nice low lunge and balance combo so remember to switch legs don't do the same side twice we're going to start with that base move coming down for two up and tapping the toe to start inhale exhale so notice how i'm shifting my weight forward to tap that back toe nice and light in preparation for that progression so remember you just go where you can maybe you're not ready to touch the floor maybe you want to just take those hands to the thighs and shift up make it work good last one here down if you're ready for more try that lift and hold at the top and down shift forward and lift good so I'm focusing my eyes on the floor here because it helps with the balance. So find a spot to look at with your eyes. Keep looking straight at it. And squeeze, starting to feel this, yes? Down and up, down. Holding it for a second at the top, good. A little cardio in here too, heart rate's climbing. Eight more, squeeze, seven, good six really lift it good 
five, reach long, four, come on, we can do this, last three, up two more, one more to finish, we're going to hold it at the top, ready, stay there, lift, 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 and shake it on out, great job, okay, so coming back to face me, we're going to go back into those abs, this time, instead of a side to side, I want more of a twist, so we're going to rotate from side to side, taking our time, feet are wide, knees are soft, exhale, and exhale, pull the ribs into your spine, keep your elbows nice and wide, good, now we're going to add that little progression option, if you're ready, you're going to tap the toe across, and switch, so it's kind of like a little side to side step, crossing over, keeping the leg that's tapping in front straight, and light on the toes here, good, so again, you can hang out with this. Or add one more layer by just lifting that leg low and across the body. So we're getting the inner thighs big time. Standing leg is working too. And of course, those obliques. Yeah, laying tight. Rotate and tap. Rotate and tap. That's it. Exhale and inhale. Good. Nice work. Stay with me. Last four, three. Excellent. Two more times. Last one. You got it. Great job, everybody. Just take a second. We're coming to our last exercise. You're almost done with this boot camp. So we're going to start off taking one leg behind the body. We're going to keep the standing knee a little soft and reach that same arm up by our ear. So we're going to start by bending the knee, pulling the elbow down. We go here and reach. Now, if you need some balance help, put your hand on a chair or a wall that's nearby. And I want you to keep that lifting leg behind you so you really feel the glutes, but that arm work helps us lift up into those side obliques and even into the lower back a little bit. Good. So you pull and reach. That's it. Remember, balance isn't always perfect. It's okay to wobble. If you're ready for more, keep the legs straight. Keep pulling down. So we're going into a nice full arabesque motion. Lifting that leg behind that hip and pull and stretch and pull and stretch. That's it. Squeeze. Remember, you can hold on to something for balance at any time. Try to keep your chest lifted, heart open, and squeeze. That's it. Almost there. Stay with me. Last four and three. And two, one more time. Yes, nice job, good. Let's go right to the other side. So we're just gonna set it up with that knee bending, ready, and we pull back behind the hip and tap. Pull and tap, good. So again, find your little focal point for your eyes. Bend the knee to start and reach. So with this bend, we're getting the hamstring as we curl that heel into the body. Hold on if you need it. A couple more here. Good. If you're ready to progress, keep the leg straight up and tap. Standing knee is soft. Keeping the chest heart lifted. And squeeze. Pulling down, that's it. Reach it. Good. Come on, really working those muscles. Feeling the belly, buns, and thighs here. Pull and squeeze it down. Nice. Almost there, guys. Stay with me. Last five. And four. Three. Two. One more. Great job. Good. Let's take a quick little stretch here. So we're just going to stretch out those hips and thighs, crossing one leg over the other. You might need to hold on to something for balance here. Sit back into your hips and just stretch, lifting the chest, lifting the heart. Good. And come on up and carefully switch legs. Sit back into it. Breathe. 
and release one more for the abs in the back hands behind the hips just extend back and release it do it one more time inhale and exhale give me a stretch to the side another side great job thank you so much guys for joining me for this belly buns and thighs boot camp if you want to keep working out with me check out the related videos below and i'll see you for our next workout